Bonnie LaCourse, the Marketing Manager with Stanton Chase Boston. With me today, I do have my colleague, Adam Parker. Adam is a Managing Director in our office. So Adam, I know when the pandemic first started about a year ago now, you and the family up and went to Buzzards Bay, a very nice beachy town. So my question is, how is the beach today? It's good. It's getting better now that things are warming up. You know, I have a four and a half year old and it, I found out this summer or this winter rather that there's no day too cold for him to want to play on the beach. So I'm just glad that uh, the wind chill is not quite as bad when uh, when he takes me down there. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And exciting news. I know that you've recently been named the North American Regional Practice Leader for Consumer Products and Services. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Yeah, well, it's an honor. First of all, I've been um, you know, excited to uh, step up and, and take on the responsibility. Consumer products and services is a very important practice group for Stanton Chase. It's our second largest globally, and it's a fairly wide ranging set of sectors, everything from uh, retail to products, both durables and fast moving, uh, travel, hospitality, leisure, luxury products, media, communications, so many different things that can go together in there. Uh, for me personally, uh, I've had the uh, opportunity to work in a lot of those different areas over the last year or so, everything from salmon farming to uh, herbal supplements to uh, cannabis and uh, also uh, robot vacuums. So if you think about that, one of the things I love about my job is the uh, variety of different companies and, and uh, products that I get to uh, learn about in the course of doing search work. And so this is a great sector for me. Um, as the regional practice leader, it's really a role about support and improving uh, the communication and, and the success of that practice group within, within North America. So uh, you know, trying to bring people together around the right opportunities to connect the dots between our offices here and also with uh, offices in other parts of the world where we have clients that have global needs. Uh, if somebody is you know, developing a new opportunity, hopefully I can uh, bring some of my experience in the consumer product space to uh, assist them in, in some way. Uh, it's really just about uh, trying to help drive Stanton Chase forward and continue to grow our consumer products and services practice. Great. No, absolutely. And outside of consumer products and services, where else have you been spending your time lately? Yeah, I'd say that the, the other couple main areas, uh, healthcare and life sciences is one. I've, I've had a number of searches in that space. And again, that's another one that can be everything from, you know, uh, pharmaceutical company, uh, you know, drug development to the processing of, of uh, pharmacy claims on a technology platform. So uh, a lot of different variety there. I've also done a decent amount of work in the technology and software space itself. Right. And, you know, on a more personal note, we've all developed our own pandemic hobbies, you know, over the past year. I've heard that you've become quite a competitive cruciverbalist, and you are in particular a huge fan of the New York Times crosswords. Tell me, what is your fastest time? Make me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever called myself a cruciverbalist. In fact, I think uh, this may be the first I'm hearing that it hasn't shown up in any of the puzzles uh, that I've done. I can say that for sure. Um, and, and, uh, I'll say uh, amateur competitive. There are people who do uh, tournaments and it's frightening how quick they are. Mm -hmm. um, funny that you ask this week because normally I wouldn't have known the answer, but uh, last week actually I did. I, I do it oftentimes on the app if I don't have a paper copy mm -hmm. of, the, of the crossword. Uh, and it turns out last Monday, I thought it was quite easy. So I checked my time and it was four minutes and 16 seconds. And uh, the app says that was my best ever. Well, I am definitely proud of you, and that is something worth bragging about. Okay, my last, my last question for you here: It is not a secret that Stanton Chase Boston is a team of foodies, and I know that you have gotten very into ordering and making crazy unique foods, especially with your four-year-old son. Tell me, though, if I were to look into your fridge right now, what would the craziest food in there be? Oh boy, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I've got uh, a lot of different kinds of fermented things I've been working on, different sorts of pickles, sauerkraut, kimchi, uh, th those sorts of things. So that's that's probably out there. I've got a lot of homemade hot sauces as well, some of which are fermented. Um, it, it changes a lot, but um, I definitely like to experiment with different cuisines, uh, different ingredients. Uh, and I've had, like you said, a ton of fun 
uh, cooking with my uh, with my four year old who has a, a pretty adventurous palate. Well, absolutely, and let me tell you, we will be on our way over to give you a little help in the kitchen and to maybe have a little taste test. <laughs> Please, no, oh, we would love uh, love to have you. We're excited to, um, you know, it seems like we're getting back to normal here a little bit in the next couple of months, and we'll have to have a have a Stanton Chase dinner party. Absolutely, I am there. <laughs> Excellent. Absolutely, Adam. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day here to talk with me and to show everyone else a little bit about the work you've been doing here with Stanton Chase, a little bit about the crosswords, and a little about you. Mm -hmm.